Toronto property owners learned yesterday about a possible tax hike of more than 10 percent if the city's budget proposal gets approved. And they threaten another 6 percent if the feds do not come through with funding. So with that, Mississauga business owner Peter McCallion, son of the late Hazel McCallion, is recruiting Toronto business owners to head just a bit west to his city. And Peter McCallion joins us live. OK, Peter, so good afternoon and happy new doing? year. Uh, give us your pitch to Toronto business owners. Let's hear it. Well, you know, if uh, I believe the city taxes are going up 6.5 percent property tax, Toronto, it's an opportunity for Mississauga to take advantage. Um, for, for 36 years, my mother kept the taxes reasonable and made an economic powerhouse. And Bonnie's kind of done the same thing. And uh, in light of last new, yesterday's news with the 16.5 percent tax hike, uh, I've suggested we form a blue ribbon campaign and figure out how we can get Toronto businesses to move to Mississauga. I've uh, issued a challenge in the aftermath of that announcement by the City of Toronto's budget chief, uh, Shelley Carroll, confirmed that the city's taxes are going up 16.5% tax hike. That's, um, that's astronomical. Okay. Contrary to the media reports, it's just homeowners facing massive tax hike. The industrial tax hike's going up 16.5%. Okay, so, you know, besides the obvious, why advocate for Torontonian businesses to move to Mississauga? What is it like to own, a biz own and operate a business in Mississauga? Well, traffic's a little less, <laughs> but it's, it's a better place to have a business. And it's good for Mississauga residents, it's job opportunities, everything. Air might be a little cleaner, too. Okay, so we also have to talk about this. I'd be remiss if not. You know, uh, there was the plan for the dissolution, you know, Pill Region, Mississauga, to, you know, be more of its own. Does this have anything to do with that? It doesn't have anything to do with that because, based on that, the taxes were going to go up further. I believe specifically for Brampton, but just the same. We need to bring people to Mississauga. Bring the businesses and the people of Mississauga will be good with it. jobs, everything else. Um, small, medium businesses are welcome to come. Hazel would do this. She would have done it. I'm doing it. And with that, you know, Bonnie Crombie, she has been the, the face of leadership in Mississauga. You know, now that she's gone, we have to talk about, you know, the possibility of you know, uncertainty for the business climate. Well, that's what we're here for. We want to make it certain that they're going to be sustainable, property taxes reasonable, and well-spent value for money taxes. Okay, so value for money and taxes. You know, what is it actually going to take to, you know, move a business that's been based in Toronto for, you know, let's say maybe five years to uproot and go over to Mississauga? What's that going to take? Well, I'm going to do my best. It's economics, basically. So it's, and it's a better environment, I think, for Mississauga. Okay, and as we wrap up, let's get the 30-second elevator pitch. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, uh, I want to thank everybody that uh, on my mother's anniversary of passing is the January the 29th. And I want to thank everybody for all the condolences and all the stories. I've got a lot of people still to this day texting me, talking to me about the stories of their encounter with my mother. And that's the way it is. All right, Peter McCallion, thank you for your time.